What's good, Cyberspace? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down. So guys, we have to break this down, bro. They just arrested Andrew Tate and I'm going to give my take on it after reading this article, but hey man, I feel like I called this because we were speaking about the Andrew Tate situation and um, essentially we were definitely having his back and defending him. Um, but at this point, it could be the quote unquote matrix coming after him, or it could be some truth to the allegations. I've already spoken um, previously on the way that they would be able to craft a human trafficking charge against Andrew Tate. And it's going to be off of the backs of an industry that he had already spoken about that he was involved with, which was webcam industry. And he's spoken about webcam industry. And when it comes to guys who buy chicks from webcams and whatnot, um, these, these situations can get very, very dicey and very tricky because for one, you can't confirm the age of the ladies on the other side of that camera. Um, for two, the men who are, you know, paying for these web e thoughts or whatnot, they're very weird and perverted sexually. Um, three, you know, since Andrew Tate was managing this webcam business and it was making so much money, it just doesn't make sense to walk away from a business like that that's earning so much revenue, hand over fist. So could he have continued that business and maybe created some type of management system for OnlyFans, which is what they're accusing him of nowadays, which is not illegal, but now they're saying human trafficking and grape allegations. So we're going to get into this video um, or, you know, this uh, article right now and break it down. So here is video proof of Tate being arrested. <laughs> One thing that's standing out to me though, watch this. Okay, so his hands are in his coat pocket, meaning that he wasn't handcuffed. So he, could he be taken in for questioning? He's literally not handcuffed. He's literally not even handcuffed. And he's a very dangerous man, former kickboxer or whatnot, so it doesn't make sense that they wouldn't handcuff him, but... It just doesn't make sense that they would let him in the car without handcuffing him and two agents sitting right next to him. So anyways, let's get into the um, article. So now we see the handcuffs come out right here. Oh no, he, he slick look kind of scared. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> My man look a little scared. He look a little shook like he ain't never been to jail before. Um, let's see. Insidiary social media influencer Andrew Tate and his brother were busted in Romania Thursday related to intercourse trafficking allegations, according to a report. Police descended on a villa Andrew Tate and brother Tristan were staying at Thursday to detain the British brothers on kidnapping and grape charges, judicial sources told Romania outlet Liber, um, Liber Tatie. Okay. Um, the brothers had allegedly detained two young women, one with American citizenship and one Romanian inside the villa against their will in April, where they were subjected to physical violence and mental coercion. So 
that's what they're accusing Tate of. And he spoke about that and said that, hey, you know, it was swatting incident. The guy's girlfriend was mad that she was overseas with us and that we flew her out. Um, and that was his rebuttal to that. Okay. Now they're taking both of them in. They're taking both of them in. All right. Police suspect the Tates of forming an organized crime group that intercoursely exploited by group members by forcing them to perform um, adult film demonstrations, adult film for the purpose of producing and disseminating through social media platforms. So I'm wonder I'm wondering what women they're talking about. Um, you know, and if that was happening, they would right be a big social media influencer, female social media influencer. The brothers were questioned for five hours by police on April 11th, but were released. Libertatea reported video of Tate being escorted into a car and flanked by two officers were shared shortly after the news broke. Tate's arrest could have been set off by his Twitter feud with environmentalist activist Greta Thornburg the day prior. The controversial influencer tagged her in a post showing off his 33 cars and asked for her address so he would continue to brag or could continue to brag that they contribute greatly to pollution. Yes, please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldenergy at getalife.com. Thunberg hit back. Tate initially responded with a short, how dare you, before revising his response to a two-minute video of him making fun of the use of pronouns and calling her a slave to the matrix. Tate asks a person off screen to hand him two boxes of pizza, but reminds them not to recycle it in an effort to further taunt Thornburg. The boxes had Romanian type on the sides, potentially letting officials know he was in the country. So they picked him up, they arrested him. He probably already knew that these charges were looming over his head. Um, so yeah, everybody's very interested in, in him being arrested. And he docks himself pretty much by um, putting the pizza box down there. Let's see. So this is self-snitching as well. <laughs> this is self-snitching as well because if he wasn't supposed to be in the country and maybe he had these uh, allegations looming over his head, doxing yourself by putting a pizza box. My dog is snoring back there. But yeah, that's, that's definitely self-snitching. So... We will see what comes of this. Um, you know, I don't want to see nobody locked up unless, you know, the, the allegations are true. But what I will say, though, when you have a government organization come out in, you know, the, the all the gear and, and they're arresting them in this way and they're arresting both of them. I'm interested to see the evidence and, and kind of break it down. Um, this this is crazy, man. This is crazy. Andrew Tate locked up. They're saying on intercourse trafficking allegations, this is what I'll say. When you get involved in intercourse work on the male side, <clears throat> you are never insulated because these women can always come back and make allegations against you. Running that webcam business, although it was probably really lucrative, it can also open up doors into um, you know, escorting and quote unquote intercourse trafficking. Um, for example, if I've got an escort business and I've got, or not an escort business, but if, if I've got a webcam business and I've got seven women on 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 call pretty much and I know guys who and I know men who you know I get whether I get it from their IP address or whatnot who pay for the webcam imagine imagine how much they're willing to pay to see those women in real life and if they were really making that much money and you know he kind of he kind of broke rules of the webcam cam business by promising meetups. Then they could pin him on some intercourse trafficking trafficking charges because he's facilitating the meetup with Johns, and that would be very detrimental. Do I think that it was nefarious in nature, and he was forcing these girls with a whip and a belt, or you know, physically? I don't know. Okay, but I would hope not. I would hope not. But at the end of the day. 
I ain't gonna lie. Both of them kind of look scared getting arrested. Tristan Tate is doing the little, uh, the portal. The hand portal. Andrew is not. Okay. And, I mean, hopefully they are able to live to tell the tale. Because he's saying, he, on his Twitter, he said, first they silence you, then they arrest you, then they delete you. And hopefully that's not the plans of the elites or this um, alphabet organization that is arresting him. But hey, I like to see the evidence and see what's really going down. But anyways, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Reclaim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Team relationship, of course, you email down below. with a screenshot for your cash shop so I know you're paying your ties, man. Y'all need to be on your motherfucking game with the BS. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.